UCLA, one seven, lost two, tied one. A Cinderella team appearing here on New Year's Day of 1966 to represent the Athletic Association of Western University. Keep it to the side of his foot. The deep man back there now, Mel 422 and Bob Stiles, number 28 for UCLA. Now the kick is up. And it's taken by Styles at the 5, 10, 15, south to the 20, the 25, and Bob Styles returns it to the 27 yard line before George Webster, number 90, brings him down. Styles is from New Jersey. UCLA has the ball now, first and 10. They have it at their own 27, and in that backfield, Jerry Beban is 16. Mel Farr is 22, Paul Horgan 39, and Dick Witcher is 88. Kurt Augenberg at in is 26, and Byron Nelson at in is 46. A wide slot left now, running from the basic eye formation of the balance line. Now he's right to the middle of the right side. At the 46 yard line of Michigan State, Gary Bevan is 19 years of age, and he's a sophomore quarterback, and he just captured 28 yards on the first play of the Rose Bowl game. First down, first and 10 now. At the 46 yard line of Michigan State, the Bruins of UCLA have the football. Hogenberg is put out far to the left side. Gary Bevan is the quarterback there, and a the basic guy down with a slot left. Right up the right side. He does take the lead around. Oh, that is deflected. That's the line of scrimmage. Gary Bivan, for a 19-year-old boy, and the sophomore has a world of boys on the football field. Bivan back to start now. Wants to throw the ball. And he unleashes the ball. And he can't get it. And then it's a Dick Witcher, who died for it, number 88. As they pulled it out, and Witcher was sprinting down the sideline, but was led a little too much, Gary. You pointed out, and, you, and the people at home saw it on the screen, he was open by a good two or three steps. The ball just slightly overthrown. So now it is third down and ten yards to go. Penalty mark is thrown. Delay of game. That'll cost him five. And this is the spot now. Berg is good enough. All right, Nelson is beside him. Rolling with Jerry Beaver. And he's going to keep the football. And he gets it to the 45, so it's going to be fourth and nine. Anticipation of receiving the fight. Worded off to the side and it is fielded at the 20 by Jim Summers, number 20. This part we have it for the first time. Team Jude, number 23, is the 40 by. No contact made. And he has gone for a loss. All American Clint Jones going for a two yard loss on the play. Back at the 18, so it is second down and 12 yards to go now. Erwin Dutcher, number 51, made the tackle. White Lee is number 34, and the slugs back here. Eddie Cotton, 44, Clint Jones is 26. Ah. 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 play, and it moves to the 20 yard line. White Lee from the. Fourth down situation now. Fourth and four. Take Kenny from Hawaii. The center deep man now. Get Bob Stiles. And McAteer is back there. Way back and drives Stiles back to the 22. He's hit right there at the 22. No return for Bob Stiles. We're in the first quarter here at the Rose Bowl, and as yet there is no score with 11 minutes, 20 seconds remaining in this period. UCLA with the ball, first and 10 there, and they're on the 22 yard line. Coming up from his secondary position. Double flanker, far to the right side. That's Altenberg and Witcher, far to the right side. Try to spread out that defense a little bit. Just the way the defense is. Only only for double flanker. Double flanker out by Bob Hyde. 214 pound in. It's worth noting the contributions that the NCAA members make in sports other than football. For example, each one of the 60 Olympic gold medals the United States won in track and field since World War II was won by an athlete who attended an NCAA institution. Lay down on the flank pass back. Oh, nice. Yeah. It is the bar for the first time. And Fargo got only to the 20 before Harold Lucas 
The All-American middle guard, who is six feet two inches tall, weighs 286 pounds. Made the tackle. Take a look at Lucas. He's everybody's All-American. A senior from Detroit. Fourth and 12 now at the 20. Funny situation. Nice snap. Cox gets it and barely gets it off. Gets on the 50. Bounds on down toward the 40. Across. It's at the 35-yard line of Michigan City. Good roll for Cox. Byron Nelson down the ball. Steve Jude, number 23. And on the table of the tennis, Brent Jones, and he moves to the 43 and fumbles. And the scramble is on, right there. Now it worries this, overlooking the scramble. See who got the football. That's worse than the white cap. Michigan State retains possession. Unbalanced strong right. They give it to Mike Lee, number 34. Lee moves across to... The 47 yard line for a gain of four. Third down and about a yard to go. Jim Coletto, co captain from Monterey, California, who suffered a broken wrist early in the season, but came back to play briefly against Southern Cal. And is starting the game today. Made the tackle. Bounce on right. Again, Clint Jones off the tail of the tandem. Piled up by the Bruins defenders. He was looking for the yard. It did not appear that he made it. So it is fourth down and a yard to go. UCLA jumped into what amount of do a gap eight with the linebackers up very tight in all the cracks between the offensive linemen and Michigan State, and they were blowing hard on that short yard play. Dick Kenny, the punter, has come into the ball game now for Michigan State. He's going into deep punt formation. Bob Style just dropping back center deep. That's the right there. Kenny spirals it out of there, high and deep, and Stiles takes it on the six-yard line. And it's into the turf by Clint Jones, number 26, and with him there, 34, Dwight Lee, but Clint Jones was the man who got him. No return on that one, a 47-yard kick by Dick Kenny, and he did what he's been doing all season. He got him so high that it's very difficult to return. Kicking, punting, I should say, not just playing kicking, is a great part of the defense. You always have the other team back in the hole. It makes it a little easier for your defense to contain them. And then with Michigan State having that's a big, strong bunch, well, uh, you know, just how important the punting and the defense is. Well, those two punts, one of 54 and one of 47, Dick Kenny certainly doing a job. Six-yard line. D-Van, quarterback. Bars in motion. D-Van rolls away from motion. And throws on the run. And it's incomplete to Byron Nelson, number 46. John Javica, number 14, the defender that Javica is 5'7 and a half. He weighs 164 pounds. Jim Summers, the other half back, is only 5'9. Bring him across the field in a wide set. Lot right. Both ends split. Paul Larkin, the fullback carries for the first time. He weighs 192. Charlie Thornhill made the tackle. They go now into punt formation with Larry Cox. Deep punt formation on second down. Jaffinga lets it hit on the 40, and he takes it at the 49, and is rocketed back over the 50-yard strike. Still no score in this game. As you can say, left on balance gone left this time. Jude pitching it to Clint Jones. Clint Jones goes across the 40. A first down for the Spartans, and they're at the 39-yard line of UCLA. Sandy Green and Bob Stiles made the tackle. There's Clint Jones, an All-American from Cleveland, Ohio, number 26. That is the first first down for the Spartans of Michigan State. This time it's Dwight Lee, a left time back, a sophomore, 192-pounder. He moved it to the 35-yard line. It is second and six now. This is Dwight Lee, slicing and powering his way. On to the 31-yard line. Or again, a four. It's going to be third down and two. Jim Coletto made the tackle. It is Apisa looking for the first down. And he picked it up. It's first and ten. at the 28-yard line. Short yard is position, uh, situation a couple of uh, plays back when Michigan State was stopped on third down. The uh, uh, UCLA line submarine came in their low and took up the play. That time, they took advantage of it, and they went over the pile. You saw Apisa do it. Harry Donahue, the number 64, and Dallas Strider, 55, made the tackle for the Euclid. Short slot left, and the slot back is Lee. A piece of carrying, and piled up, and a penalty marker goes into the stack. 
hit at the line of scrimmage. So now we'll check out the penalty. Holding is the preliminary signal that you see there. Indicated against the Spartans of uh, Michigan State. Referee Howard works to the Big Ten. Indicating the penalty there. Bob Styles, number 28, made the tackle. There he had an instant replay. Clint Jones off left tackle, cuts back. He not only has a lot of speed, but pretty strong call it, too. Three minutes, 17 seconds left in the quarter. Short slot left. Two days going, and it's incomplete. And it's for Dwight Lee, number 34, his sophomore left halfback. Now it is Cotton, the fullback, who is set outside the split left end. Who is Gene Washington. Today. Big down is hit and now pulls away and throws and it's intercepted at the 15-yard line. By Bob Stiles to the 20-25, 30-35, the 40. Stiles to the 50. Flash and cut back and goes down at the 44-yard line of Michigan State. Stiles took it at his 15. And it was a block by John Richardson on the far side. That's bringing back to the 46 yard line, the 44 yard line of Michigan State. Steve Jude, the man who threw the pass, went across the field and made the tackle. That is Stiles from New Jersey. He was hoping he could go all the way. As he cut back, stumbled, and went down. And right now we are getting a timeout signal. The score is Michigan State nothing, UCLA nothing. Styles intercepted, returned 42 yards to the Michigan State 44 when Jude made the tackle. Gets to the 40-yard line. He picks up four. At least I can assist. Jim Summers made the tackle. He's number 20. He's from Orangeburg, South Carolina. UCLA and Michigan State Territory. Mel Farr there is number 22. Left halfback. Steve Stanley, 38, is the sophomore fullback. Dick Witcher, number 88. From Shasta, California, is the wingback. I see that. He still has the ball. Goes on the run. At the sideline. Incomplete. Dick Witcher, the man for whom it was intended, Don Jaffa covering defensively. Bevan. <laughs> oh, and now Lucas led the charge, number 51, to bring him down. Lucas, 286 pounds. So Bevan is dropped on the 46 yard line. Most of the time, a middle guard such as here, Lucas, uh, will hit the, hit the center and control the middle area, but occasionally he'll decide, well, I'll just blow in there and uh, not worry about a draw play or a screen to see if I can catch that quarterback, and he did just that on that last play. I gets it off, fouls it downfield. Jaffin goes waiting at the eight-yard line. Bobbles it for a moment, and it's still right there at the five-yard line. So it was cut for coverage that time by UCLA. Byron Nelson made the tackle as he pulled Jabbega down just at the five. It's butted across the five. And it is a 40-yard kick. A 40-yard kick. As Jabbega just to take it in UCLA got the football and the scramble. So UCLA has it at the five-yard line. First down and goal to go. UCLA recovering. Jabbega stumble. And Viva now is rolling and keeping and trying to get to the corner. It's Bevan hit at the one-yard line by George Webster. The Rover, who is 6'4 and 218 pounds. UCLA recovering a Michigan State fumble at the five-yard line. And now they have it at the one-yard line. Second down and goal to go. We heard about Gary Deepen and his amazing speed and getting to the outside on rollouts, but he's getting around and beating some very good, uh, not only big men from Michigan State, but very quick men. All Horgan has come back in his fullback, number 39 now, for UCLA. Now, the gun sounds ending the period. That's the end of the first quarter. The score is Michigan State, nothing, UCLA, nothing. Second down and goal to go for the Bruins on the one-yard line of Michigan State. the second 
third quarter. UCLA has gone ahead of Michigan State by a score of six to nothing. UCLA went six yards in two plays at the fumble recovery by John Urquiaga. And now a conversion attempt is coming. Great Zimmerman will sign the point. He was 28 for 29 during the season. He had 24 straight before one was blocked against SC. Norman Dow is holding. After Dow, the kick by Kirk Zimmerman. It is up and it is good. So they come back up the field, and the score is UCLA 7 and Michigan State nothing. Right, three on the 34. On one side, and Jesse Phillips, number 38, on the other. Going to number 26. Alley play an onside kick, and the shuttle is on, and UCLA got the ball. The onside kick works, and UCLA is now its rider. They covered the kickoff at the 42-yard line. Just as they did against Southern Cal, UCLA retains possession by executing the very difficult onside kick. There you see it. Good action. Tommy Trocolo has been known to do that. Tommy Trocolo, the coach of UCLA, to do something very, very unusual. And he did. Trocolo himself at Duke University with plenty kicking. A place kicker in uh, his playing days, and he has transmitted that skill to the football team. It's a Z-man rolling, and he's starting to run. Osmore got across the 40, and big Charlie Thornhill. 204 pounds of Roland Oak, Virginia, made the tackle. He's been at the ball, no part of the city. And he was brought down by Don Jaffinga. Jaffinga was the last man who died and threw him off the ball. 23 yard line. Melfar, number 22, fine running back, the leading ground gainer for UCLA in the regular season. Very seen an instant replay to give to Melfar. Just gets tripped up there by Jackson Howard, who was on his way all the way. So now UCLA leading by a score of 7 0. Has the ball first and 10, they have it at the 23 yard line of Michigan State. And Dalton breaks the far right, and Witcher is out there also with him. Byron Nelson's the tight left end. Second down. 50 feet. Eva. Goes and it is taken by Kurt Altenberg at the one-yard line. Kurt Altenberg and the UC Zeeman getting right on the head. Threading the needle downfield. Strong arm. There you see his on instant replay. Kurt Altenberg going down. Had a dragon watch his kick. Right between two men, and that ball was thrown perfectly. That's the threat that uh, Beaven is. He threads the needle at 40 yards. First down and goal to go at the one-yard line. Beaven wants quiet. Quarterback sneak. Touchdown. Beaven. Gary Beaven has scored his second touchdown of the day. With 11 minutes, 50 seconds remaining in the first half. It is UCLA 13. Michigan State nothing. Gary Beaven going off the field. Along the sideline. Tommy Fosco in the dark hat as he passed along there. Now puts the ball down. Gentleman puts it up, and it's good. So as they come back up the field, the score is UCLA. 14, Michigan State. Nothing. UCLA went 42 yards. Plays and recovering the onside kick. Gentleman moves forward. This time bounces it down the field. Gene Washington covers the ball on the 23-yard line. And Gene Washington from the court Texas. Tried to pick it up, probably it fell out of the 23. So Michigan State gets it right there. First and 10 at the 23 yard line. The 11 minutes, 45 seconds. It may be played in the first half of this game. The Rose Bowl game in Pasadena, California. Get out to Dwight Lee, the sophomore left pass from New Haven, Michigan. He moved it up to the 28-yard line. He picked up five, and Jim Coletto made the tackle. Oh! And Jones, and Clint Jones moved up to the 30-yard line. Joe Pismicki comes back in and offers his tackle for him. Oh! This is Dwight Lee, and he is hit right at the line of scrimmage. Gally Strider, a fine linebacker. Or UCLA pulled him down for no gain, making it fourth and three at the 30-yard line. There's an example in that last play of the penetration by the UCLA defense. Dick Kenny, the punter, is coming to the ball game now. Styles, the deepest man there, ready to field the punt. Kenny's kick is high. Fair catch is called for by Styles at the 39-yard line. So that is where the Bruins will take it. First and ten at fair, 39. Oh, return on the fair catch. 
D-Man looks around. Wait, looks at his wife. D-Man gets the snap. Looks down for a loss back at the 32. Lovin Smith from Beaumont, Texas. The 268-pound left end, who incidentally is 6 feet 7 inches tall and an All-American, was right on top of him. That's Charlie Smith. He came in there and knocked out the two-man interference and also took the D-Man all in the same motion. Took care of three men. Jesse Phillips, number 38, the sophomore safety man from Beaumont, Texas. Phillips has a world of speed. Sterling Armstrong, number 31, comes into the secondary now for Mr. State. It's third and 16 for UCLA. Stephen giving it up to Mel And Hendo is recovered by Michigan State at the 34 yard line, George Webster. The rover back recovered the fumble, and now it's the Spartans of Michigan State who get the football. It's spotted squarely on the 35-yard line. First and 10 for Michigan State, and we're getting a timeout signal. The score is UCLA 14, Michigan State nothing. Mike Lee on the 34 is going to the left side. He's watching the play before he's a split right in. He's good day. has the ball. It's it off. It's Matt Jones guy. And he gets across the 25. He goes out of bounds at the 23-yard line. Bob Richardson, number 23, wrote him out of bounds. You saw Clint Jones, a fine running football player who specializes in breaking tackles. The first out to the 23. Almost all the way. That was an unusual formation for Michigan State. It's put in at a flank of the ordinary runs on the power setup. And to greet that type of offensive formation, UCLA came out in a 5-3, which is a change on defense for them. The Spartans are driving here. <laughs> White Lee going inside. Second down and nine yards to go. Balls at the 22. Now it's gone right. Takes the runs and drops the ball. Jamal's on at the 19-yard line. UCLA recovers. Jim Toledo recovers the fumble. Jim Toledo, the defensive captain, gets the ball for the Bruins at the 19-yard line. There he goes. Off the field. Toledo. Well, Michigan State got a good break there, the first break uh, of the afternoon, and couldn't take advantage of it. They fumbled the ball right back. I believe that's the third fumble for Michigan State. One, they have fumbled and recovered themselves, but two, they had to give up to UCLA. UCLA leading 14 to nothing. Oh. Oh. Well, giving off the ball, hugging the fullback, cutting back to the inside for one yard. There's a fumble. Harold Lucas hit Mel Barr immediately right at the ball and bounced it away from him. However, UCLA retains possession here. Third down. This team State changed their defensive alignment. They moved into a split six. Put their two Harold Lewis, Lucas and the two big tackles outside show of the offensive guys and moved both linebackers up the middle and uh, stopped the play goal. On third down, UCLA goes into deep front formation with Larry Cockney. Tommy Bronco believes and third down gets as the kick and Jaffinga is back there taking it on his own 45. Uh, Jaffinga, and he is still at the 45 by Barry Leventhal, the offensive captain of the 63 downfield on kick coverage. They should have run the ball out for a third down. That led to a eventual victory. Off the turn of the tandem, Clint Jones moves it up for three yards to the 48 yard line. It is second down and seven yards to go. Bronk is running with 533 remaining in the first half. To a pizza, and a pizza gets to the 50-yard line on the cross it before he's pushed back by Dallas Ryder. It'll be spotted at the 49-yard line again at 3-3rd and 4. Uday breaks and now he throws short. It's complete intended for his pullback of pizza. That's Styles, number 28, dropping back center deep, along with Eddie Hutt, number 41, UCLA. And that's the six inning. Even a mile high. This is no exception. Fair catch call for by Style, and he lets it go. So it'll be down or blown dead. It's down at the 10 yard line. CLA leading 14 to nothing. <laughs> Just to be 11 and hit hard by Bob Viney. The defensive right end. It'll be second and nine at the 11 yard line. Flankers the ball again, number 43 for UCLA. Oh. 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 Oh
shot goal for a foot or so before Rover George Webster and halfback Don Joppinger made the tackle. So it'll be third down. Still about nine yards to go at the 11. This is UCLA's sixth appearance in the Rose Bowl. They have never won. This is Michigan State's third appearance in the Rose Bowl. They have never lost. Well, the basic guy here. He's still has the ball. And hooked it. Up field. Dick Wichert. Dick Wichert, number 88. Jim Summers, number 20, covering defensively, incomplete pass. So it'll be fourth and nine now at the 11-yard line. That's Wichert going back to the huddle. Clock shows three minutes, 36 seconds remaining in this game. Larry Cox is in deep one formation to kick the ball, standing in his end zone. Cox gets it out of there. Jaffinger moves over. He's at the 50-yard line. Takes it to his 49. Get it buzz and slips down at his own 49-yard line. A lot different coming on the second half, trailing 14-7 rather than 14-0. That's a good choice of right. Monty! Jude! Wants to throw in gap. So he takes the loss. Of one yard and maybe two. Jim Coletto leading the defensive floor. He's number 36. There's no doubt that the return of Coletto to the UCLA lineup has marked that defensive unit. Tommy Prothrow, the head coach at UCLA, played his college football at Duke, but head coach at Oregon State had the Oregon State team in the Rose Bowl a year ago today. On a draw play, it is Clint Gold, number 26 guy. Back to midfield, picks up four, so it'll be third down and nine. It's the 50-yard line. Don Manning and Jim Coletto, the defenders who brought him down. Judo, looks for Washington. Throws with somebody hanging on, and a diving catch. But it is an interception for UCLA by Jim Coletto. Jim Coletto. The pass is intended for Washington. Coletto intercepted. Repeat an instant replay. Watch the coverage, bud. Coletto comes out of nowhere from the right side of the screen. Great defensive play by Coletto. The way they play defense, the UCLA wide tackle takes. He covers the flat zone occasionally and also rushes the passer. UCLA's ball at their own 42 with the clock showing 225 remaining in the half. No ball in motion to the outside. Gary Bieber. Takes the loss back to the 36 with Charlie Thornhill, big dog from Lillian Oak, Virginia. Running him out of bounds there. It'll be second and 16 for the Bruins of UCLA. At Oregon State, they said that Coach Tommy Prothero was ultra-conservative, and yet here at UCLA in his first year as head coach, he's developed one of the most exciting attacks in the land, led by 19-year-old quarterback Gary Bevan right there. Bevan goes on the run. Diving for it and making the catch is Kurt Ausenberg. Kurt Ausenberg, number 26 at the 49-yard line. Very speed instant replay, Kurt Ausenberg, number 26. Bates and Brown to the side of the ball, is thrown very low and makes a great catch. Be back with the keeper. Picked up a foot or so at Harold Lucas, number 51, the All-American middle guard, made the tackle. You see the clock running. Oh, get the oh I finally kicked the drive, jabbing the back. If it hits on the goal line, there will be no run back. And now it is blown dead. Only against Purdue, where the Sparks of Michigan State shut out in the first half of the football game. This is now 10-0. I think they came back to win the game in the second half. Clint Jones, Gary. Moves it out to the 23-yard line as Erwin Dutcher, the defensive right end number 51, made the tackle. Now it's wrong. Clint Jones gets the ball. And again, starts out into the open and moves the ball upfield across the 40 to the 44-yard line. 58 seconds on the clock. Dallas Ryder made the tackle. Number 26, Clint Jones. Great halfback. No huddle, and they're ready to go again. With time running out, and they have no timeouts left. Jude is dropped for a loss back on the 38-yard line. Penalty marker goes into the stack. Clock shows 39 seconds left in the half. A personal foul penalty indicated by Howard Works against UCLA. Pretty much of a freak play. Jude uh, bounded up so quickly it, it almost looked like his knee did not touch. But the whistle blew loud and clear, and uh, he was there was uh, contact after the whistle. That's why the penalty. 
Good day to meet you. Get this one down there. High five and get the third catch is called for by Styles. It makes the grab at the 15 yard line. So it'll be first and 10. The UCLA has the ball first and 10 at their own 16. Gary P. Ben is the quarterback. They keep it inside and five right there. And five right there. The fullback. Stopped by George Webster, the All American Rover. After he moves to the 26 yard, the 21 yard line. Second down and five yards to go for UCLA. And the head of the to Paul Horgan again, but this time, George Webster meets him head on. So make it third down and two yards to go. That's far moving up as the running back is split. Stephen throwing the ball. He's going to the 42-yard line. And Mel Farr, and Mel Farr is still at the 46. Jesse Phillips made the tackle. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. Great call on the part of Stephen or Pro Pro. County throws of the coach, as they call it. Come out in a wing formation. Third through. Looks like a power shot off tackle. Very good on the replay. Mel Farr catching it from Gary Deven. First down on the 46-yard line. Third quarter. And Paul Horgan back in the fullback. The lights have been turned out here at the Rose Bowl. Stephen still has the ball. Going on the run. And a diving catch, and it's good for the middle of the yard line by Kurt Offenberg. Kurt Offenberg made a diving catch at the 39. Kurt Offenberg, there you see an instant replay. Number 26, down face, in and out, and makes a diving catch. Mr. Rulick, a bona fide catch, he did not trap it. It was just uh, the men out there at the right as well as the running back to his side. Steven still has the ball. Goes long, long on the Witcher. Big Witcher, number 88. Yes, Phillips, 38, the defender. In the second and 10 at the 39. Gary Biban is not the same quarterback that Michigan State faced in the opening game of the season. During the course of the season, this young man picked up a lot of poise and a lot of experience to lead the UCLA team into the Rose Bowl game. Uh, Gary Deben, uh, as you point out, took up a lot of experience. He's only uh, thrown 12 times and completed four, three of them to Aldenburg, and has all been in key situations. They're in the high formation. Quick pitch, Mark, trying to get him to the outside. He stumbles, trying to cut. He was a blocking back and played in the Rose Bowl game, the one that was played in Durham during the World War II years. Now, Levan goes on the line. At the sideline, it's no good. It's simply, again, all the third with the man. Diving for it. Diving it. I'm exactly taking the ball. Now, he's keeping on for it and gets it off. Javinger is at the seven. He lets it hit. He bounces out into the end zone. It is a touchback now, and it will be brought up to the 20-yard line, put in play by Michigan State. A 40-yard kick. Brought down by Bob Stiles. Almost had that one all the way. Here you see it an instant replay of the game. He's kind of jammed up off left back. Of Flint Jones. Flint the outside. Looks like he could have turned down the juice and out running, but he didn't elect to do so. Big game. Back to live action. First and 46. And balance is on right. Here's this side. It might lead. The left half back. He gets up to the 48 yard line. It is second down and eight yards to go as Jim Coletto and Jim Miller made the tackle for UCLA. Yeah. 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 Moves it on into UCLA territory at the 45 yard line. Not enough for the first down. Jim Coletto and Sandy Green made the tackle. It'll be third down and a yard to go. Do they want to Jones, looking for the first down, did not appear to get it. It appeared uh, that he might have missed by about a foot. Howard Wirtz, the referee, tosses the ball over for it to be spotted. It is fourth down. 
So you trail by 14 points. You're in the Rose Bowl game. You have 7 minutes, 22 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Situation, fourth and one. What do you do? The crowd says, go for it. They come up there to go for it. It is very close, and now it works the referee, waves it, and he wants the change. He jumped in to spot the ball. It is very, very close. So it is either a first down or the ball goes over, and works is keeping it right there. It is so close. You watch now as this measurement is made. The ball goes over. Michigan State gambled and lost as Clint Jones did not pick up the first down with 6 minutes 54 seconds in any of the third quarter at this moment. UCLA ball breaches in at their own 44. Coach Tommy Prothrow's UCLA staff are Pepper Rogers, Ron Seagrid, Bob McKinsey, Jerry Long, Lou Stuck, John Cooper, John Jardine, and Tony Copay. Situation 34. Across the sideline marker, and Altenberg doesn't think so as he throws the ball down. Kurt Altenberg was across the line when he made the catch. You watch closely, here it is, an instantly face. Both feet have to be inbound when he catches the ball. Watch this. He's up in the air while he's doing it, and that's not good enough. Yapingo is the defender, situation fourth and four. And Norman Dow, rather Larry Cox this time comes in. Long, high, spiraling kick, and Jaffinga throws for a fair catch but then lets it go over into the end zone. Across the end line, a touchback. It'll be brought out a 50-yard kick by Cox. Uday. Going long to Gene Washington. The interception is made by Bob Stiles, number 28. Bob Stiles pulled it off as he and Washington were up in the air. And Sandy Green was helping the double team, the defender, and there's the instant replay. Gene Washington goes up and Stiles comes up with the ball, and that's the ninth interception for this season, which sets a new record for UCLA. Bob Stiles, great defensive back for UCLA, and he's also recovered seven fumbles this fall, so he just picked up all the loose balls. First and ten for the Uclans at their own 40. No ball in motion outside. Here they do that. Nice and cut up. And lost it up. Larry Slagle on a tackle eligible play, and he was all alone. Number 77, Larry Slagle on a tackle eligible. Lose the ball to the 25-yard line, first and 10. There's Keaton, instant replay. Roll after the right. Slagle goes down to the right. Stop there. Slagle gets it. Dance for alignment to be a hero. A great call upon UCLA. And as I mentioned before, this maneuvering of flanker back and foot end has confused the Michigan State defense, and they did not realize the tackle was eligible. There will be that. I guess Phillips, number 38. That safety man making the tackle. That's Bob Viney, 85. Harold Lucas, 51 there. Flash shows 4 minutes, 52 seconds. Loss of 4, second and 14 now. Evan Troy. And he's out of bounds at the 12-yard line. Hit by Jim Summers. Aaron Nelson, number 46. First and 10 for UCLA at the Michigan State 12-yard line. Dick Witcher, Dick Witcher took the secondary. <laughs> he was wide open and he saw Dean hit him perfectly. <laughs> Number 
number 61 there. That would really be the first time that we saw UCLA full of bad uh, mistakes in the course of the afternoon. And Lindsey mentioned a couple of times, they've made very few mistakes. Their strategy offensively and defensively has been exceptionally sound, but that was the first one that went with the wrong way. Gary B. Bad dribbled the ball as he was spreading out, and Michigan State gets it. Four minutes, one second left in the third quarter. to the 34-yard line. Boy, he's playing like Dallas Ryder. Made the tackle, and now a penalty marker has been thrown. How it works, the referee. Take a personal foul. And the ball is going 15 yards up field on the personal foul penalty against UCLA. To make it first and 10 now for Michigan State at their own 49-yard line. Let's go. Just tripped up as he got to the 50, and he managed to move on to two yards more. White Lee is piled up at 46. Vince Jones moves to the 40 yard line, appeared to get the first down, and Don Manning brought him down. First and 10 for the Spartans of Michigan State at the UCLA 40 yard line. Two minutes, ten seconds, the third quarter. Goes inside. To the 36-yard line. Again, a four. It'll be second down and six. Short spot right. Not down. Jude Troy. And it's in between the pivot to Clint Jones. Number 26. The defender with Bob Style. It'll be third and six at the 36. And Jones again. Makes the tackle and moves to the 31 yard line where he's first back. Alex Ryder. Leading to the defensive yard. Just one of all game. Linebacker Alex Ryder has played here at the Rose Bowl. Fourth down, a yard to go. Fourth and one for Michigan State. You can say that a situation like this in the third quarter, back in the early part of it. They tried to go off tackle, but UCLA got into a gap defense, and they just came firing across the line of scrimmage and stopped them cold and took over the ball. So let's see what happens here. 57 seconds left in the third quarter. Fourth down on the yard. The Spartans need to watch to keep the drive alive. A piece is the fullback. Get it off the play, Lee. A penalty mark is down. They give it to Dwight Lee, and he is pushed back at the line of scrimmage, and Alan Slamart was there, and now check the important penalty. <laughs> Outside Michigan State is declined by UCLA, they take the ball. Second time today on a fourth and one situation, UCLA's defense has held to take the ball. The penalty declined, and we pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. UCLA leading, 14 to nothing. All in motion. Bobby Carney back. Paul Morgan inside. Bob Finey, the first man to reach him as he picked up not more than a foot. And he ran has the ball. Completed the 42nd, Byron Nelson, number 46. Ryan Gilbert made the tackle. The ball is up to 43 yard line, and time has run out in the period. That's the end of the third quarter of the 1966 Rose Bowl game with the score UCLA 14, Michigan State nothing. First and 10 at the long 43. Double flanker right. Get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him. 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 Taken by Kurt Alsenberg, now check the penalty marker. Alsenberg down on the ground at the 44-yard line of Michigan State. Illegal procedure against UCLA will cost them five yards and nullify the pass play. So that'll move it back to the 38-yard line, first and 15. And the flag is over. Bubba Smith and Bob Biney made the tackle. Oh. 
As he gets up to the 46-yard line, again, it's three, third down and seven for the Bruins of UCLA. UCLA followers give much of the credit for the offense to offensive coach Tom Rogers. Now the staff of his coach, Tommy Coco. Now the event sets up close to uh, Erling playing again. He drops the ball incomplete. Mickey Erling. Duffy Dart is playing him deep today on the punch because he is the surest of the defense. Larry Cox sends it far and high and deep. Down to Dennis, also a fair catch and lets it go. He goes across the end line and he brought out to the 20, a 54 yard kick by Larry Cox. Now he's on the right, he's going to the front line. to the sideline. That's the 29-yard line. And Bob Stiles hit him. It'll be third down and a yard to go at the 29. Third down and one yard to go. Go out back field and balance strong right. And Jones is piled up and pushed back. Jones got the call, and the All-American halfback was pushed back by the Bruins defense. John Richardson and Erwin Dutcher and Dallas Snyder all in on the play. Here's an interesting call. To less than 12 minutes on the clock. You're down 14 to nothing in the fourth quarter. What do you do? Well, there's the answer right there. They got a try for it on their own 29-yard line. Fourth and one. They give it to Lee, and right Lee is the ball goes over as Lee was thrown for a loss. The Bruins get it. The team started at the 27-yard line. First and 10, and what a day it's been for the Bruins defense. They're starting it snowing up that you can see the bench going wild over there. The score is UCLA 14, Michigan State nothing. We'll be right back with more of the 1966 Rose Bowl game between Michigan State and UCLA. 27-yard line of Michigan State. Here is that number 16. George Webster made the tackle. There's a quick-thinking quarterback. He moved out to the right here, and Aldenberg was open, but he slipped and fell just as he was getting ready to uh, release the ball, and he quick as a flash, got it, tucked it away, and then ran up the middle to uh, almost get the first down. He's about a yard shy. Third down and two as he picked up eight yards on the play. It's spotted on the 19-yard line. And they're going to leave that. Far, far picks up the first down. Gilbert and Charlie Thornhill made the tackle. First and ten at the 15-yard line where the youth is driving. Penalty marker strong. Paul Hargan carries. Illegal motion. Five-yard penalty against UCLA. Moves it back to the 20. Make it first and 15. And he is pulled out by a firing big dog, Charlie Thornhill, number 71, the linebacker. Back to the 25, so it's going to be second and 20 now. As the Spartan defense is sitting here. Here is Ivan. Wants to run back. And twice gets through, and he's at the 24. Harold Lucas brought him down. And UCLA 14, Michigan State, nothing. And now, Steven fumbled the ball. So Zimmerman jumped in, and Norman Dow, who holds, is in as well. 
at the 34, it'll be a 44-yard attempt. The longest the gentleman had was 37 this year. Now puts it down, gentleman kicks it, and it is short. And it is going to be blown dead there, and will be run up to the 20-yard line and put in play. season lead Michigan State by a score of 14 to 6. Larry Cox is the punter. It is partially blocked. Partially blocked. It's up by Witcher and he is at the 35. However, it will be blown back to the 50 yard line. Viney is the man who got a hand on the ball. Bob Viney got in to get a hand on the ball and Larry Cox has to kick partially blocked. It was fourth down situation and it is at the 48-yard line of Michigan State. That Witcher got the hand on the ball and could not advance it from that point. Only 51 yards away from the UCLA goal. With four minutes, two seconds left to play in this football game. Still for a lot. Back to the 
the 42 yard line. Loss of seven. It's going to be second and 17. Harry Donahue from North Hollywood, California. Hold him down. The attendance here today, 100,087. 100,087 at the Rose Bowl. Ray has the ball. It's back to throw long, and he throws the ball way downfield. And it's in just late. And it's for Gene Washington and Tim McAteer. Number 45 was the safety man, covering defensively. Third at 17, and did Jim Ray ever throw the football? Clock is up with three minutes, 33 seconds left in the Rose Bowl game. Third and 17 for Michigan State at their own 42. Judah, swing pass. And it's a clean show. So now it's fourth and 17 at the 42. Clock shows 329. They don't want to give it up at this point. Ray back back now to shut up and throw. And it is complete to the 40-yard line of Gene Washington. He's out of bounds at the 37-yard line. For the Spices of Michigan State have its first in 10 at the 37-yard line of UCLA. Gene Washington, 18-minus replay, number 84. He held up with a line of scrimmage. Moved to the outside, final catch. Looking for a little running room, but he's out of bounds. A 21-yard pass play from Ray to Washington. On fourth down with 17 to go. Deep fight and hope to lie at you. The balance gone right. This is today, setting up and throwing. At the 28-yard line, it's Dean Washington making a diving catch. Not enough for a first down, it's at the 28. Bob Stiles made the tackle. Dean Washington again moves to the outside. Wide open, fine catch. Good. He had to come back a little bit to get it. The footing is a little bit loose out there. Back to live action. Timeout for Michigan State. Second down, about a yard and a half to go. They have the ball at the UCLA 28 yard line. Second down, and a yard to go at the 28 yard line. The run back to the short side. The action play with Ray Shane. And he picks up the first down at the 24 yard line. Billy Smith made the tackle. First and 10. On the Spartans at the 24 and the timeout signal as Michigan State again got that clock. Late in the Rose Bowl game. Now Juday. And he goes to the To White Lee on the 24. White Lee at the 45 yard line. And Bob Richardson and Jim Miller brought him down. Juday going to halfback. White Lee at the 14. Second down, less than a yard to go. Today, going out of the sideline and overthrew, the clock is stopped. You want to be sure and get it over there across the sideline. If you could not hit Washington, it was double team. It stops the clock with two minutes, 27 seconds left. Makes it third down and a yard to go at the 14 yard line. Can the onslaught of the Spartans of Michigan State. It's his way, and off balance he goes. And it is better than complete. Alex Snyder got a hand on it intended for Clyde Lee. As Ray was trying to set up, he skid it on the turn. It is now fourth down and a yard to go at the 14 yard line. They don't think it is likely that UCLA will be able to retain possession until the end of the game. A big play here. Ray on the option. And he picks it to a piece of. And a piece of picks up the first down at the 10 yard line. First down for Michigan State the UCLA set. Bill McIntyre made the tackle. Going to touchdown on. So the clock is running now with two minutes, four seconds left to play of the game. All is but it's just outside the 10 yard line. First down and 10 yards to go for Michigan State. Well, I'll thank you. Good day. That's that. And throws and overthrows. Nagashi in line. Locked up with a minute, 47 seconds left to play of the game. Now, he goes out of bounds at the 6-yard line. 80,44 from New York City. Attended to win Clinton High School. And Jim Colletto and Bob Richardson, the defenders. These two, they come back into the ball game with a minute and a half left to play. Ball is spotted at the 7-yard line. <laughs> two day throws, and it is complete. Struggling on, it's right lead. Just 
10, 50 is outside the 10. Ray runs the option and the switch back. He did not get over the goal line. And the ball goes over. The ball goes over to UCLA. But Ray did not get in. And referee Howard Wirtz indicated that the ball goes over to UCLA. However, now he wants the game to see if they got the first shot. You'll recall we said the series started outside the test. If any part of the ball is at first down, they first down to the United States. So when the series starting outside the set, they didn't get the touchdown, they got the first down. Today. the field. Ray has the ball, pitches it to Apisa, and he tries, he did not make it, he did not make it. Pitching to a pizza. The question was, could he pull his way across the goal line? Bob Stiles is the man who brought him down. And what a game Stiles has played in the Rose Bowl. He certainly has in the family all year, picking up fumbles, intercepted passes, and he's uh, been coming up very hard on defense, making tackles as he did in that play. And all the furrow over on that side, that's right in front of the UCLA rooting section. And Stiles is knocked out on the play. He gave it his all, and he is knocked out on the play, and we have a timeout while he is receiving attention from trainer Ducky Drake. And that is Stiles, up and on his feet now. He is from Glen Rose, New Jersey. UCLA again will expect the onside kick, and there's the attempt. However, it's taken in the air. By Michael Larry Flagle. Penalty marker on the play. A penalty marker on the play as Flagel got it across the 50 into the 48 yard line of Michigan State. However, offside against Michigan State is empty. Fine. UCLA wants the ball with 28 seconds. So they're in position to hang on to it at the 49 yard line. We are on the brink of seeing one of the biggest upsets in the history of collegiate football. Viva just stops to the ground. It's over. UCLA has won the Rose Bowl game. And it's Tommy Trosso coming out of the center of your screen. Tommy Trosso has done a magnificent coaching job at UCLA, and he has brought the Euclid through with an upset of an undefeated, untied Michigan State team here in the Rose Bowl on New Year's Day. And Bob Stiles has been named the player of the game. Each year at the Rose Bowl, there is an award to the player of the game. It is Bob Stiles, a defensive halfback of the University of California at Los Angeles, and that is he right there. A tremendous performance for him.